back to Red Glasses Talks. We've been doing a series on what do we do when trouble comes? Because you know what? Trouble does come in our lifetime. So what do we do when it comes? So we're going to go back to the Old Testament. And there's a book in the Old Testament called Daniel. In fact, a study was done, a survey actually, was done a number of years ago. And they said, what is the most admired person or personality in the Bible, obviously other than Jesus? And they said, overwhelmingly, this man named Daniel. So we're in the book of Daniel, chapter number one. And King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon had attacked Jerusalem. And one of the things that he did as they sacked that city was he took these young boys back to uh, Babylon and they were going to literally brainwash them and help Babylonize them, remember how you would say that. And they were going to become potentially future leaders in that country. So that's where we are. And so we have Daniel and his three buddies, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So beginning in chapter number three, we read, King Nebuchadnezzar made a golden statue 90 feet high and nine feet wide and set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then he sent messages to all the princes, governors, captains, judges, treasurers, counselors, sheriffs, and rulers of all the provinces of his empire to come to the dedication of his statue. When they had all arrived and were standing before the monument, a herald shouted out, O people of, of all nations and languages, this is the king's command. When the band strikes up, you're to fall down flat on the ground to worship King Nebuchadnezzar's golden statue. Anyone who refuses to obey will immediately be thrown into the flaming furnace. So they proceeded with the worship and people from all nationalities and all languages fell flat on their faces before this ridiculous golden statue. But the leaders of the, went to Nebuchadnezzar and said, but there are some Jews out there, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, whom you have put in charge of the Babylonian affairs, who have defied you, refusing to serve your gods or to worship the golden statue that you set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in a terrible rage, ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come before him. Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he asked, that you're refusing to serve my gods or to worship the golden statue that I've set up? I'll give you one more chance. When the music plays, if you fall down and worship the statue, all will be well. But if you refuse, you will be thrown into the flaming furnace within the hour. And what God can deliver you out of my hands then? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, O Nebuchadnezzar, we're not worried about what will happen to us. If we are thrown to the, into the flaming furnace, our God is able to deliver us, and he will deliver us out of your hand. Your majesty, even if he doesn't deliver us, Please understand, sir, that even then we will never under any circumstance serve your gods or worship the golden statue you have erected. In other words, we will not bow down to an idol. Ain't going to happen. Then Nebuchadnezzar was filled with fury and his face became dark with anger at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He commanded that the furnace be heated up seven times hotter than your normal and called for some of the strongest men of the army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the fire. So they bound them tight with ropes and threw them into the furnace fully clothed. And because the king in his anger had demanded such a hot fire in the furnace, the flames leaped out and killed the soldiers as they threw them in. The Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell down, bound into the roaring flames. But suddenly, as he was watching, Nebuchadnezzar jumped up in amazement and exclaimed to his advisors, Didn't we throw three men into the furnace? Yes, they said, we did indeed, three men. Well, look, Nebuchadnezzar shouted, I see four men, four men, unbound, walking around in the fire, and they aren't even hurt by the flames. And the fourth looks like a god, like the son of God. So what is the lesson? 
Number one, you don't bow down to anything or anyone other than the king, King Jesus. Number two, and here's the big lesson for trouble when it comes, Jesus will always go through the heat with you. You think about that.